Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the uh, lack of who should you choose videos last week. I was just moving. It's extremely busy. I had the stream studio still trying to set it up. You guys can't see uh, what's in front of me, but that was basically where all of my attention went. So uh, slowly but surely, now I just got to work behind me. But uh, thank you guys for all the subs, questions, and hanging out in the Twitch streams. Again, don't forget, uh, I know all the guys that come out for uh, who the who should you choose videos. If you can't get your question answered, Come hang out on Team Build Tuesday. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern Time every single night on my Twitch channel. All you've got to do is be subscribed, and basically we throw all the subscribers in a hat. We just start picking names, and we go through and we review your full team. Usually I have a guest on with me. Sometimes uh, it was Nuge TV, Henrique, uh, Junior Penn. So uh, it's always a really fun stream, and uh, we go through about, you know, about 100 teams. Uh, so it's always pretty good. So make sure you check that out. Also, guys, make sure that if you're going to order any G Fuel, make sure that you use code no sleeves at checkout to save yourself some money and support me. Make sure you get that hype sauce that it is my current favorite and extremely good. Now let's get into who should you choose, guys? Episode 40. That's nuts. All right. So Chase Popowich says, yo, what's up, man? All right. So Max Levy, yo, what's up? No or what's up, sleeves? Here's my team. 91, Lafleur, Gretzky, McDavid, uh, I'm sorry, Mario, Lafleur, Koivu. Oh, so this is a stacked team with Housley. 7 out of 10 for Howitzer, uh, 10 out of 10 dis. Okay. Just threw in Kane and McCarr to activate Magician, trying it out. I know you don't like the Kane, but he's not bad with Distributor. He's 90 XL, 89 speed, deking with Magician. That's not bad at all. Also, at 88 Niedemeyer, but flipped him because he's very expensive. Yeah, the 88 is a little bit expensive. I don't like... I'm, his shot isn't all that insane, so... Looking to move a lefty C to move Gretz to right wing, maybe Kachuri. Any suggestions? So, with your team, you're, you're pretty stacked. The only one... Uh, like, your bottom pairing defenseman is probably where I would first want to focus... Uh, you could upgrade that by either grabbing, you know, the Team of the Week headman, for example. Um, he would be a decent add for you. But if you're looking for an upgrade at forward, I mean, you could move Gretzky for sure to the wing um, and grab uh, and grab Kachuria. Kachuria has been awesome for me so far. Very, very good card. What's up, Aiden, my man? A lot of noty squads. Let's go. Guys, if you want the best shot to get your questions answered in these videos, make sure you hit subscribe with notifications on. It's the best way to do it. If you don't have notifications on, it's going to be really tough. Leonardo no Caprio. Hey, Sleeves, I found you at the start of NHL 21 and by far my favorite content on YouTube. Man, I appreciate that, dude. Free to play with 170,000 coins plus, or sorry, plus coins and eight gold collectibles, one icon. Synergy Prison right now with Wingman, Howitzer, Distributor, all active. All right, so he's got Iggy, Sedin, Kucherov. All right. Uh, I also packed 85 Team of the Week Murray. We'll try him in some gold. Okay. My next move with my coins and gold collectibles. I know others are low overall, but they're speedy and putting up points. So I'm in no rush to make a small upgrade at left wing. Going to save my icons for the floors. I don't want Gretzky synergies. That I can uh, that I can respect. However, you need a left-handed winger. Not just Aho and Ellers, but Kucherov as well. I'm not a huge fan of. He's slowly he's a little bit smaller, so while his shot and speed are pretty good, there's there's upgrades you can make. Honestly, with 170,000 coins, you could do you could go two ways. I mean, you could grab both McDav base McDavid and duo Matthews uh, and be in a really good spot. I think that would probably be where I would go with those. Evan Muller, hey, sleeves, I think I have about 470,000 coins. We'll get 100,000 for wards this week at four GCs. I'm done making icons, so I should save icons for silver upgrade or convert them to gold for fantasy. Any suggestions? Hmm, I plan on putting 90, Kachuri, 91, 80, and Besser on your team. Holy and Daz, they've been great for me, but soon should be time to move on. Who would fit those holes? Keep in mind synergies. I really want a better left defenseman as well as a third right wing, and Besser and Kachuri will be maxed out in a few weeks for me. Here's my team. So Lemieux... All right, so Kachuri will go up to number one. Um, not a huge fan of that Tavares card. Morenz, Daze. All right, so, I mean, if you're going to replace Daze, you would need to make it substantial. So, like, 87 McDavid would be the play. Outside of that, I mean, Lume, your, your defensemen are probably where you want to go. I mean, upgrading Hedman to the team of the week, Hedman would be really good. Um, trying to think of some other options for you, though. Uh, six out of six Howitzer, 11 out of 10. You can lose at a Shrivier. Honestly, I might sell Tavares. Move Couturier up, upgrade him once, obviously, um, and then focus on somewhere else, getting another centerman. I mean, you don't even really need one, as you've got Gretzky, too, if you want to move him down and get um, and get that Matthews. But that's probably the best bet, just, you know, coin-wise. Holik on the wing, you definitely want to remove that. Holik is not any good on the wing. 
Um, so I would definitely think about selling Tavares, moving Kachuri up, hold Leak over to center, would probably be your best bet. Who should I buy for 450 k Also got 11 collectibles. If you're... <laughs> All right, so you have 11 gold collectibles. The new event came out, guys, so this is going to be tough for me because, again, this video is a little bit older. Um, so in terms of uh, the new event, you could... You have 450k. I mean, you could make the new line A. I think he's the only one that's super worth making. But, again, it's a risk because if you do the tradable one, it's not guaranteed. Oh, that's tough. 450k? I would just buy Fantasy Besser, to be honest with you. Hey, Sleep, thanks for all the help this year. This is my free-to-play team, and I'm working on upgrading Katrina. What should I do next? All right, Lemieux, Gretzky, McDavid, Lafleur, Lindros, Duchesne, Fiddler. 300,000 coins, two tradable icons, and no GC. 300,000 coins here. I would upgrade Lit Duchesne with, with, with Duo Matthews. He's he's the card that's like one of my favorite values right now, guys. Like He's so good, and he's, he's going for far under what he used to. You'd be in really good shape with him. Um, other than that, that would be where I would start. Although, you man, base Doughty, you need a righty. Uh, you need a right-hand shot defenseman, to be honest with you. With Latang, hmm. you have, you're free to play. How many coins do you have? 300,000 coins. You could get a pretty good right-handed defenseman. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone that are around 300k, though. I don't think you should spend the whole thing. I would get Matthews and then upgrade on base defense. Like, I don't have the market memorized right now over the weekend, but a right defenseman to replace Dowdy would be the next place to go. Hey, Sleeves, thanks for everything you do. It's really amazing you did with the charity event. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Very selfless. Uh, Team Build Tuesday was awesome as always. It's my crack. <laughs> so I've taken all of your advice so far and bought Koivu, which left me about 10,000 coins, and I pulled until I pulled 88 Ovi and sold them for 118. Now I'm up to over 320 with two gold collectibles, debating what to do next. I think the smart move is upgrade Lemieux to 91. Before pass for his present is over, then keep upgrading Master Kachuri at 86. That, I mean, sorry, so this was done before. Um, just looking at your team, that is definitely what you should be doing. Again, I think the, the fantasy guys... You want to focus on getting Kachuria to 91. That's like a big focus on this event. I mean, especially with the master items that came out, they aren't amazing. Um, there isn't like anyone that's like so far and ahead above of all the other ones, which I think is a good thing. Um, but Kachuria is definitely the one because, again, you could just slowly build towards them. All right. Hey, slaves, love the content. Just curious if my next move should be free to play 200k. And eight gold collectors. Not a fan of players like Lindros, Burns, and Hedman, though. I find them clunky. I have Speedster, Distributor, Howitzer, Activate. Thanks in advance. P.S. Iggy is my favorite player of all time. Let's go! Same here, my man. All right. Lafleur, Gretzky, McDavid, Morenz. You have the Matthews. You have three hundred. You have 200k to play with. Mm, that Matthew, or that Parise is the upgradable one, right? Your team is very, very good, dude. Like, you're looking at... I would honestly just save. There, There's no one really that you should jump out and grab um, for 200k. I mean, like I said, so 400k roughly gets you the Besser. And Besser would replace Stamkos, but he would also probably jump ahead of Solani as well. Um, although it's your lefties that are kind of weak. Hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't go stone. Hmm. Man, that's tough. Because um, I don't think Voracek is worth grabbing. The 91 or the 92. I would honestly just hold, man. You need a top end left hand winger. Like you could get this uh, no, it's not even worth getting franchise the franchise um Taylor Hall, because he's just as good as McDavid. You could get another centerman to put Koivu on the wing, however. But that's like that's it. Your team is so stacked, man. I would honestly just save up because yeah, there isn't really a player in your wheelhouse. My team is eighty six Besser, Gretzky, McDavid, Stamkos, Lemieux, Sackick, Cover Line, A, Messier, and Beliveau. Okay, what should I do next? All right, so um, I'm assuming that these two are. Oh man, you tried for Lafleur twice. Assuming those are untradeable. Hmm. Well, it's your right-handed wingers that are pretty that are pretty weak. 
I mean, it depends on how many coins you have. Um, you could go Team of the Week Pasternak, which I think is a really, really good card, even better than his 88 that just came out. The other one would be Upgrading Besser. This Besser has been really good on my on my uh, God Squad. He's been a really good card. I like Turtle, Turtle says Mini Fletcher. Let's go, dude. I like Turtles, too. Hey, Sleeves, uh, I have 200k, four GCs, one icon. Do you have any idea on how to improve the squad? Lemieux, Lindros... So you have all the base budget centers. So like you have the you have all of the basically the good ones that you could you go for before you get into the elites. That's where I would focus first. I mean, I would even eh, your right hand wingers aren't, any, aren't all that good either. So you have two up. One first of all, you need to get Couturier. I think that would be a big help for you because if you can get Couturier and just keep actually you might no, you won't be able to get him to ninety. Uh, but even if you get him to like eighty eight, he's still better than Lindros in my opinion. Um, that'll bump Primo out. And then keep working on Besser. Like you're already you're already working towards that. The defense squad that you've got is pretty good as well. That would be where I would go. What master icon should I choose with the top with one of the top three synergies? Any forward position, one each position would be nice. Any of those icons though. What master player should I choose with one of the top three synergies? Oh, Howitzer, Speedster, and and Distributor. Um. Well, yeah. The the Toast says Kachurier that. The reason why Gachuria is so good, guys, is that center is the, um, again, one of the most important. And finding a really good, fast, great shot with great face-off stats is like almost as rare as a left defenseman. So that's why it's pretty uh, pretty important. Guys, smash like button so many more comments. Also, the buzz cut is good, but maybe grow the beard again. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. The hair grows back super fast. It's the beard that's tough. Also, guys, I'm thinking of doing something. If you guys can hit like... Three or four hundred likes on this. I might add another five minutes to who should you choose each day, but that's a lot. So I'm trying to again. It's a lot for me just to record this. It's twenty full minutes. Is it worth making Besser? Absolutely. These cards are fantastic, guys. They will get an upgrade each month as well, all the way to ninety nine. Ace leaves love the videos. Glad I'm finally up early enough to get a comment. In. Wondering if I should still take trade untradeables. Also, where do I go from here now? I'm a Div two player, and do hut champs as well as do spend some money. Okay. 25k so you can do all right so there's really nothing that you can do with 25,000 coins other than this bodker you could if you watched one of my if you watch my latest video um you could go i think philip forsberg's a right-handed player so that won't work um trying to think off the top of my head you look for a better i would look for a better um distributor player but other than that there isn't really anything you just want to save up man you Again, you've got pretty much all of the budget cards. You're in that spot where now it's going to be a long wait. That's why the Besser and Kachuri are so good. Your best bet's probably just keep saving to build those guys up. Matt Kale says, no D-Gang. Yes, sir. He slaves. Glad to see you found your stride this year. So on top of things, I never hear you say, give me some of the things I never hear you say, give me some options. Keep it up. <laughs> So on top of things I never hear you say, give me some options. Keep it up. I have 40 episodes of questions below, as I believe this one will get answered. Note, I updated this since I spent 750k on a non-meta rebuild today. I spent 100 dollars at launch, free to play. After that, here is the squad. All right, so he's got Lemieux, Goretzky. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. All right, Lemieux, Goretzky, McDavid, Lafleur. Could... Okay, so. Not a big fan of the righties or the left-handed players. Makar, Housley, OEL. This defense is actually okay. Long story short, I pulled ninety Broder. Uh, whoops, I pulled ninety Broder. Really wanted a top demon that will keep long-term value as free to play. Was also able to snag Makar for four hundred thirty k. Well, that's not bad at all. And the barrage experiment began. Spent solid hours researching if this made sense. I'll give an update on another vid as a result. I'd love to hear how barrage works again, guys. In my opinion, Barrage just is is behind Swarm Distributor and Spark because activating a skating sat is so much more important than shots. Um, because if you're a good player or you you know you're not bad and, and you're slowly starting to learn how to play, the backdoor one timer or one timer that gets open by setting up those plays is going to go in with 80 overall shooting half the time. So um, where I think you see the the shot advantages is from the point as well as, you know, ripping those clappers 
um, from the, you know, just coming down the wing and ripping them. That's where you see the shot advantage. Like I, I mentioned in other videos, like Gila Fleur, for example, uh, you can pick short side, like closest to you when you come down his strong side. So uh, he's right-handed. So if you come down the right boards with him, just wind up and have one and it'll go not even far side, short side. It's, it's crazy. Um, all right, so I have 60K and two icons. Who would you upgrade next? I plan on upgrade Couturier over time, but would you wait until I have all the GCs for Besser in case a better right-handed winger comes out with a better team sent? Not a fan of Holik. All right, so now that we saw the new event, Line A is good, but not amazing. I would rather have Besser just because he's going to upgrade over time. So that answers that. As a free player, when I buy top players, would you resell them when their price starts to drop or keep them and move them down lines over time? Example being 89 Carlson. Should I have sold or moved down over time? Oh, this is tough as a free-to-play player. The thing is, is that you'll you'll you can all like if if you sell him at like 600 k or whatever it is, what you're buying necessarily won't be better than him at the time. Like, I think that there's a price point at which you should get out. But when you have a card that can be dominant, so anything under 90 speed is not going to have long-term value. Almost almost positive. Like, unless he's a centerman, because centermen don't need to be, you know, insanely fast. Um, but when you see speed progress, it's a lot better this year as speed just kept getting higher and higher and higher. They've really dialed that back by only allowing speed to go up by 0.5 every upgrade uh, as opposed to one full one. Um, so that's a, that's a lot better. But it, when you have a defenseman that can have over 90 speed with a good shot that's got great size because defensive size is just as, is almost as important as his speed, um, that's, pretty, that's pretty rare. And when you combine the fact he's got the two best synergies that he could have, I don't know if I would sell. Like, I would just keep bumping him down lines, in, in, my, in my opinion. Lastly, you and you might know this, uh, you might put this in your free-to-play video, but should I take tradable or untradable if only going for trade right now? I play all challenges, max hut rush, so I got a decent amount of untradable. Oh, so guys, same with icons. These fantasy cards, take untradable, dude. There's no need to take tradable as you're going to upgrade them when the new one comes out. So... If you have icons right now, guys, that are tradable, do everything that you can to sell them now as they are starting to drop heavily. And even when the new ones come out where it's like, you, you uh, it, it like let's say coffee. Coffee is going to be an interesting one because he is so he was so good at launch and he was like 400K and his value is still pretty high. It's a couple hundred thousand coins. It, when he comes out, it's going to cost, I think, a lot to make the silver one. Like cost a lot to buy the silver one as well. I don't know how many icons it'll take. So, hmm. like I w I'm trying to sell all of my tradable guys. Like, coffee's really tough because he's really hard to pull. That's the thing. Like I had to buy a tradable one because I tried like three times, and at that point, it's not worth it because you're wasting 150 thousand coins each time. So, same with fantasy guys. There's no reason. Like I bought Besser for 400k. Because it literally costs less to buy him than it did to make him. But I know that he is going to be untradeable, and I'm okay with that. But if you're free to play, 1,000% save here and take the untradeable. Because you're not going to get rid of them. They will hit 99 at some point. So there's, there's no reason to. I hope I hope that answer, I hope that answer your question, my dude. Christopher Lindsay. Hey, Sleeves, I was wondering... How I should move forward with my team? I have no GCs, no icons, no coins. Since I bought Kopitar last night, I've been spending my GCs to upgrade Besser. I'm putting all my wards this week and upgrading my Kachuri until he's my number one center. This is why I love this event. I love fantasy cards. We need more of them. More of them. And this all happened because of COVID, essentially. Because this is not how the event was supposed to go. And how they, how they worked and, and they made this event... They stumbled upon a new way for them to upgrade cards that I just think is a very, very good pivot by Nicholas and the Hut content team. Like, fantastic. Because next year, there better be cards like this that you upgrade over time. It's a lot like MLB. I'm putting all my... Uh, outside of that, what should I save my coins up for? I know I can't afford anything at the moment, but I can patiently save it for the next impact player you recommend. I'm semi-free to play, so I'm not spending money... Uh, I like I I feel like defense is where I need help the most. I want to upgrade Fox, but I need to replace him with a defender as speedster to keep my synergies. 
Lemieux, Kopitar, Gretzky, Lindros, McDavid, Stamkos. Yeah, okay, so he's got a base team. Yeah, it's definitely defense, but, like, like right defense to get, like, an impact one. I mean, if if on the other side is Hedman, you could go with Makar and slowly upgrade him, too. I'm not a fan of the, of the fantasy Makar in the sense that when you compare him to the other top-end players. So, like, he is not better than Carlson. He is not better than even Lit Carlson. It's close, but he's better than that. He's better than Lit Carlson, but, like, the drop-off isn't huge. He's not better than Hansen, and he's not better than Ekblad. So, the, however, he will keep getting better. So, for free-to-play team, to, on, to be honest, a free-to-play player should have all four. Um, and, again, this kind of goes into what I was saying in, in my other video, is that, like, if there isn't an event that you like and you can't afford because it, it, like, this new event just came out. If you didn't have any gold collectibles, you're not getting any cards this event. Like, you could take all untradeable rewards, play the game 20 hours a week, and you probably can't afford 11 or whatever 12 gold collectibles to make one of the cards that you want. However, what you can do is take the three or four gold collectibles that you're earning each week and upgrade Besser, Carl, or um, uh, Couturier, Makar, and Stone even. Stone... Again, I don't like his build for winger in NHL 21. It's not that he's bad, but the fact that he has two to distributor is huge. So, All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of Who Should You Choose? Episode 40. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and come check out my stream 12 p.m. Eastern time every single day. Twitch link is down below. Have a good one, guys.